the luck of the Irish is on your side and you find yourself in the infamous city of Dublin, there will be countless things for you to do and see while you're there. Not only is Dublin deeply rooted in their incredible history, culture, and well, booze, the people of Dublin are all such characters as well. Whether they are sharing long-winded stories, singing local songs, or telling the odd joke here and there to make you laugh, the locals never fail to put a smile on your face. Welcome to Things To Do channel, today we're going to list 10 things to do in Dublin. Shop at Dublin Flea Market Although you can probably find a flea market happening on almost any corner and side street in Dublin, the Dublin Flea Market is a huge indoor flea market that happens on the last Sunday of every month and has become one of the most beloved in Dublin. With over 60 stalls selling everything from reusable household items to baby supplies to furniture to old clothes, there's a chance you'll find exactly what you're looking for here. Have fun at Dublin Zoo Located within Phoenix Park, the Dublin Zoo is an excellent addition to your day. With a huge variety of animals to see and a very well laid out map, this exertion is great for individuals or groups of all ages. Not only are the animals at the zoo incredibly cared for, but they all have the spacious habitats for them to roam and play, making each encounter as close to the real thing as possible. Be sure to visit the Meerkat Cafe, where you can look at the meerkats up close while you are enjoying a drink or bite to eat. Check out the Christ Church Cathedral. The second of Dublin's medieval cathedrals, Christ Church Cathedral, is yet another of Dublin's architectural wonders. More formally known as the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, this fully operational church is the Cathedral of the United Dioceses of Dublin and Glendalow. Although it is open to tourists who wish to marvel at its Romanesque interiors, the staff of the cathedral do charge admission and ticketing fees as the building receives no support from the state. However, the fee is definitely worth the visit and will help contribute to maintaining this beautiful piece of Irish history. See the Dublin Castle Take a trip back to prehistoric Dublin by visiting the famous Dublin Castle. With over 800 years of Irish memories, encapsulated within its walls. This incredible structure has borne witness to some of the most pivotal events in all of the country's history. Spanning an area of over 11 acres, the castle stands proudly on the highest ridge in the locality and offers self-guided and guided tours of the grounds, including the castle's many rooms, gardens and museums such as the Chapel Royale, the Chester B Library, the Garda Museum, and the Revenue Museum. The Beauty of St. Patrick's Cathedral Known as the largest church in all of Ireland, St. Patrick's Cathedral is actually one of two cathedrals that were built on Dublin soil. However, St. Patrick's Cathedral still remains the most popular of the two when it comes to tourists. The cathedral was originally founded in 1191 and is rife with over 800 years of Irish history and culture. A brilliant architectural wonder. Its beauty can be noticed both inside and out. It is also the final resting place of Jonathan Swift, author of Gulliver's Travels and Dean of the Cathedral. Marvel the Spire of Dublin One of the easiest monuments to spot from afar. The spire stands proudly in the center of O'Connell Street, towering approximately 120 meters above ground. This completely stainless steel structure is about 3 meters in diameter at the base and 15 centimeters at its apex. On sunny days, you can notice its exterior being gently illuminated by the sun, lighting up the monument for all to see. The tip of the structure is also lit up by an external light source at nighttime, in order to act as a beacon in the night sky. Tour the Old Jameson Distillery Another historical gem is the Old Jameson Distillery. Located just off Smithfield Square, this location previously used to be the original site where Jameson whiskey was manufactured and distilled until it stopped production in the early 1970s. A tour of the old distillery will take you through the history and process of creating the refined whiskey, along with the unique opportunity to take part in a comparative whiskey tasting experience. At the end of the tour, you will be given an exclusive whiskey taster certificate to officially certify your knowledge in traditional Irish whiskey that you will be able to show off to your family and friends back home. Party at the Temple Bar 
The Temple Bar is quite possibly one of the most iconic bars in all of Dublin, with tourists flocking from all over the world to have a drink inside its famous walls. Although the history of the bar dates back to the early 1300s, it still remains popular to this day. Due to its famous red exterior, its great location in the heart of the city, as well as being a huge part of Dublin's central nightlife scene. At present, the Temple Bar is the most popular bar frequented by young tourists, and even some locals alike, looking have to have a glass of strong Irish whiskey and enjoy a hell of a night. Get inspired of the Trinity College Library, an incredible architectural wonder, and the room most bibliophiles would only dream of finding themselves in. The Trinity College Library is the largest library in all of Ireland. It is also home to the famous Book of Kells, an ornate, beautifully illuminated manuscript containing all of the four Gospels of the New Testament that's over 1,000 years old. It's the famous section known as the Long Room has been known to resemble the Jedi archers in Star Wars. Unfortunately, the main library is only open to staff, graduates, and students of the university. But that doesn't stop tourists from taking a gander at the old library that's open to visitors and located within its quarters. Take a trip to Wicklow Mountains, one of the best day trips out of the city. And a must-see during your trip to Dublin is a tour of the Wicklow Mountains. Famously known for filming the location of the popular romance film, Yes, I Love You, this unbelievably beautiful landscape looks even more magnificent in person than it does on screen. A basic tour costs around £22, which covers transportation to and from Dublin, along with brief history of the region, a traditional Irish lunch and free time to roam and explore the land's natural beauty. Make sure to bring your camera! Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this about your favorite cities around the world. Let us know in the comments which of the places from our list today you would like to visit the most.